Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. It is getting closer, and this is a fantastic Christmas drink. This is rich, spiced Christmas hot chocolate. It's rich because there's a lot of extra chocolate in there. Uh, spice, a little bit of ginger, a little bit of cinnamon, a bit of nutmeg. Just gives that spiced Christmassy taste. And of course, on top, we just pile it up with a bunch of snowy looking marshmallows, little mini marshmallows. Let's see if we can get through those to drink some of this. Mmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. I won't call that quite gingerbread taste, but it's definitely a Christmassy, spicy taste. So, let's go in the kitchen and make up a pot of this right now. The bigger the pot, the better. You can double, triple, quadruple this recipe, depending on how many people you got over for a Christmas party. We're going to have some of this tonight, because it's getting chilly here in Osaka. Unbelievably, it's quite cold out. So, it's going to warm us up tonight. Let's go in the kitchen. Make it right now. To make our Christmas hot chocolate, well, first of all, of course, we have the milk. That is four cups of milk. And don't use that skim milk or 2%. This is full-on milk. We want creamy. We want rich. Then we got the four cups of milk that we have here is four ounces or 110 grams of dark chocolate broken or cut into pieces. Uh, over here, I've got a quarter cup of honey and a quarter cup of cocoa powder. This is a really good uh, Dutch processed cocoa powder, Van Houten. The name is Van Houten. And then over here, we've got one and a half teaspoons of uh, ginger, powdered ginger or ground ginger. Over here, I've got one teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. That's going to get a Christmassy flavor in there. And then, of course, I've just got some mini marshmallows. Yeah, you can just as many as you want on top. You can float them on there heavily. You can just put a few on there. Whatever you want. All right, so that's up to you. All right, first of all, let's get the milk into our saucepan here. And then I want to bring the heat up just gently. We don't want to burn the milk. So we're going to go on low heat. All right, that's going to slowly heat up. What I want to do now is I want to get the honey and the cocoa powder in there. Now, the problem with cocoa powder is if I just pour it on top of there, it's going to get kind of messy, lumpy. We don't want that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this and mix the honey and the cocoa powder together in a small bowl first. So we'll use this bowl here. Get that out of the way for now. All right, I'm going to put the honey in here. All right, we've got all that honey in there. Then what I want to start doing is just working the cocoa powder into the honey. So I'm going to put about half, not even half of that there. And then just mixing around, it kind of becomes a bit of a paste. There we go. That's starting to mix into the honey. Add some more of the cocoa powder. I'm just going to keep doing this until I've got like a honey cocoa powder paste happening here. And then that's going to go into the milk. By that point, the milk should warm up a little bit. They do not want to let that milk boil. Now, when it starts getting a little bit stiff, it gets a little harder to mix in. What I do is just take just a little bit of milk. Just kind of liquefy that up a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. All right, look at that. That's come together real nicely. Now I'm just going to throw the spices in here too. Because that'll just make them easier to incorporate into the milk too. All right, so I added those there. Mix them in. All right, that's looking good. So now what I'm going to do, take some more of that milk. Mix that in there. All 
All right. So that's liquefied that a bit. So now it's just going to mix in really nicely. So. Into the milk. That milk still is heating up. It's still not hot. We're going slowly here. We don't want to burn it. So we just kind of keep it on low heat. All right. Still got a lot of chocolate in there. So what I do now is just take a bit more milk. I want to mix that in there. Let me get rid of this ladle for now. Oh, there's a bit of chocolate in the ladle. Okay, let's get rid of that. That off to one side. All right, and just mix around. We get most of that chocolate syrup out of there. All right, that's looking pretty good. Give that a little bit of a whisk. There's going to be some of that paste sitting down at the bottom. Let's bring that up into there. Mm, smelling good already. Okay, so now I'm just going to let this heat up. Just I don't want the milk to boil. Just as it just starts, a little bit of simmer starting to happen. Just kind of working towards there, towards simmering, towards boiling. That's when we take it off the heat. Now I'll see you back here shortly. All right, that's just starting to want to simmer. It's steaming, little tiny pinprick bubbles every once in a while. That's good enough. We just want it hot. So what I'm gonna do now, mix in the chocolate. So whisk this in. I just whisk it until that chocolate's melted. That's where we get that rich chocolatey taste in here now. All right, I don't see any pieces left there. That's melted. Turn the heat off now. Get this out of the way. Let's get a mug out here. And a ladle. Let's ladle some of that into the mug. Oh, yeah, yeah, they, they would never have me for presentation <laughs> because I always make a, a mess. Look at that. We got chocolate sauce everywhere. Our hot chocolate. Oh, well, that is good though. All right, so let's put that there. Rip open this bag of marshmallows. Toss a handful on top. And I haven't had marshmallows and hot chocolate for a very long time. Let's see. Oh, look at that. A couple more on there. Oh, yes. That just says Christmas, doesn't it? Not counting the, the mess on the counter here. <laughs> so, mix yourself. This, is like, this actually, this recipe makes about four of these mugs. So, great. If you've got some company coming over, just whip up a pot of this. If not, you know, you got more people, double it up. You can make as much of this as you want. Hey, if you like this recipe... Stick around, check out more on YouTube here. These are all original recipes, original Kevin O'Reilly recipes made just for Kuma's Kitchen. Some of these recipes I developed decades ago, and they're all fantastic. I, well, I think so anyways. Also, make sure you subscribe because every Monday there's a new one being created and uploaded here on YouTube. I shoot them here in Kuma's Kitchen. And if you're not yet a patron, please consider becoming one because like for as little as $3 a month, you can help support the creation of all these recipes, all these videos. And also, you get all the stuff, the cool stuff that the people who are in the Patreon right now get. So join them. Join a great community in there. All right, now, go make some of this fantastic, um, <laughs> rich, spicy, Christmas hot chocolate. And make cooking fun again in Kuma's Kitchen. Yeah.